Hello guys and welcome on my channel Flames Adventures. In this video I'm going to replace my old Garmin Zumo with this new Garmin Zumo XT. I'm gonna mount it on my KTM Super Adventure. So even if you haven't a Zumo XT to install but you want to get to the accessories power connector here under this panel, this is a video for you. Okay, what's in the box of the Zumo XT? A power cable, a RAM mount, which I'm not going to use. And then we have the motorcycle mount that holds the GPS. Also some other parts if you want to use the GPS in your car. I'm not going to do that. There's also a USB cable to charge the GPS. Some straps and some bolts. And also another power cable. And of course the GPS itself and with this Garmin Zumo XT it's uh, possible to use topographic maps for off-road riding. So I only need the power cable. This one fits in the motorcycle mount. In this little hole comes a little screw and on this motorcycle mount fits the Zumo. So I remove the old Zumo 660 and this GPS holder goes away and I'm gonna replace it with the new holder for the XT that fits on the same plastic piece that I bought on Amazon and the GPS mounting adapter is from Turatech and there's a link in the description for those two pieces. Okay, I'm gonna start to install the power cable. To do that I need to get to the ACC, the accessories connector, and therefore I have to disassemble some fairings, but first I have to remove my heat crash bar on the right hand side. <laughs> The next step is to remove the passenger seat and the driver's seat and don't forget to turn off the bike again. And now you have to remove this little box and for that you have to remove four bolts. Unplug this connector and put the box somewhere. Now I unscrew the bolts of the fuel tank cap and my GV tank lock. In the next step I unscrew these two bolts to take off this upper tank cover part. And after unscrewing the two bolts just lift it up out of the clamps and also take out the fuel tank cap to let it in position. Now unscrew these two bolts and take off the side panel. Now I'm gonna take off this cover and for that you have to unscrew these three bolts. Now I'm gonna remove this side panel. I have to unscrew these three bolts. Also this bolt. And also these two bolts, but on my bike the bolts are replaced by these damping bolts for the heat crash bars.
now I'm gonna remove this part and I have to remove this screw first. Now I only have to remove this panel and I can already see the wiring for the accessory connectors but first I have to remove the bolts this bolt this one the bolt of my headlight protection cover and also this bolt and this one There was also a bolt here, but I have took that one out some steps ago. I also gonna unplug this connector to put the panel out of the way. So here you can see the ACC wires and there are two pairs ACC1 and ACC2. This is accessory connector 2 and has a black and brown wire and this one gives you electrical voltage when you turn on the bike. So this is the one I'm gonna use and now the ACC2 is already in use for the power cable of my old Garmin Zumo 660. So when I measure on the other connector, the ACC1, you can see that no matter the bike is switched on or off, there's always voltage here. Let's switch the bike on and off. So there's always voltage here and using these wires could drain your battery. Now I'm gonna measure on the ACC2 connector and I first gonna remove the old power cable. You can see that there's no voltage here until I switch on the bike. And when I switch it off, the voltage goes to zero. So ACC2 with the brown and black wire is the one to use, so the GPS will switch on and off together with the bike. My old power cable goes in here and is strapped together with the other cables. To come out here and goes there back in. To come out here and it's strapped to the TourAttack mounting adapter. I remember that it was a bit tricky to get the cable through but now I'm gonna use the old cable to pull the new one through and I'm gonna start with cutting the cable ties. Now I'm gonna remove this rubber cover of the new power cable and connect it with the old cable using tape. And I can pull the old cable out and the new one through. Here he is, the new power cable. First I'm gonna remove the old GPS holder and the old power cable and guide the new cable behind the display.
attach the rubber cover and connect the motorcycle mount with the cable and turn the little screw in. Now I'm gonna tie the cable to the Turatec mounting adapter. Now I'm gonna connect the new power cable to the ACC2 wires. And put it in place properly using a tie strap. Now after all this work I can start putting all the side panels back. Starting with this turning light connector. Ok guys, it's finished. All the panels are back in place. The GPS motorcycle mount is installed. And the GPS is switching on together with the bike. So I hope this was a helpful video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I hope I see you back.